has been a week. Boy, has it been a week. Um, everything sounds okay. I had tech issues when I first sat down for, like, I've barely been in my studio for, like, the last week. <laughs> I, like, totally ignored the internet as much as I could. It was kind of lovely. I'm not going to lie. Um, so if there's anything weird, let me know. I had tech issues sitting down this morning. But uh, things seem good. So, hi! Welcome! Yeah, that sounds healthy. It was actually pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I desperately needed to disconnect. Now, I, I still had a ton of screen time because I played a lot of Final Fantasy, um, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Like, a lot. <laughs> like, way too much. But that's okay. That That's that's what I did to relax. It was nice. Dancing because Kiki's back. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Oh, you guys give me feels first thing Monday morning just because I came back from, like, a short vacation. <laughs> oh, my God. I love LeJunk. It's, like, the best emote ever. Okay. Um, we're just dancing. We're just dancing. Oh, Honk. Okay, not chunk. I always say chunk. I don't know why. Anyways. Brain. It's, uh, it's been a week. Uh, we had some really great ups while I was off. I had some really nice time off, and we had some chill time, and I got to go to the garden center. I didn't buy anything. I found a bunch of discounted plants at my grocery store that I'm going to plant in the spring. I had some good days. I also had some very bad days. Uh, the store got broken into on Wednesday. That was an ordeal. Thankfully, it wasn't like an actual like break-in break-in. There wasn't any theft or anything. Um, the store alarm didn't even technically go off, which was weird. Because um, they didn't actually breach anything more than just the door. Um, like, there must have been like a fight or something like that on his doorstep and just the window got busted out um and you can kind of see where like the glass like bent in so i think there was probably a fight there it's not uncommon that um transient people hang out in um on the in because he's got a covered stoop at the store so it's not uncommon that people hang out there because it's not one of the gated ones like a lot of them are downtown so that's where a lot of people hang out overnight and um so there was probably, a, like, some sort of altercation there. It's not the first time he's had that kind of thing happen on his doorstep. So there's probably an altercation. They broke into the window, but they didn't actually break into the store, which was nice. So he just had to replace the glass. But he gets a call first thing Wednesday morning for, like, yeah, uh, and so it's like, okay. Little Hunter had to get out the door on their own in the morning, which is fine. They're nine. They're, they're capable. And, I mean, I just watch them walk to work or to school from my post <laughs> but like it was just like oh no oh no it was rough um i am the worst wait hold on what did i miss okay okay no we got that Austin, i'm the worst cp advocate today is the official day and i'm not wearing any green at all oh i wish i'd known that i was thinking about wearing green today but i wore green on like friday and i went hey dad you weren't even around Deb, you were you must have been working or whatever and I was like, I'm wearing green, it's not even for uh, St. Patrick's Day! And and then, so, <laughs> Trash Panda wanted a safe place. I love it. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I was going to wear green today. I'm like, oh, I wore green in my last stream. It's okay. And the green I was going to wear is, like, super bright green. I'm like, with my luck, I can't ever wear this on stream because someone will steal it and just green screen, like, this part of my body because it's that green. <laughs> um, you still have two more streams in March. It's true. It is true. Um, actually, I only have one more stream in March. Friday, I'm not streaming. I have to work at uh, my other day job at the local Easter egg hunt event. So I only have one more stream left in in March. But okay, <laughs> okay. Wait, there's a little green emoji. Excellent. Good. Okay. Today I just went. Um, brain Shit's creek because i wore my rose apothecary t-shirt and uh would you look at that i'm finally an adult subscriber 18 and looking forward to many more oh hey 
catch it, sweet bean. Oh, 16? It's only, oh, 16. Oh, I read 18. Why did I read 18 months? Oh, because you said 18. I can't read. That's okay. That's okay. We get to enjoy the teen years a little longer. <laughs> well, fine. One more stream to wear green. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been a week. We had some ups and downs. I also got so mad at my video game, I was stress crying. And, I mean, it happened Wednesday, so I was already stress crying from the store, everything that was going on with the store. <laughs> because it was just a really stressful morning. So I came home from my morning shift. Little Hunter was off to school okay. I'd gotten an update from Hunter saying everything at the store was okay. So I had, like, a stress relief cry. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to play my video game. I'm going to make myself feel better. And then got into a boss fight that made me so mad, and I ended up having to leave it, which meant I left about, lost a bunch of progress that I would have had to do o that I had to end up doing over. Because I had to go back to my afternoon shift, and I'm like... And then I stress cried again. I'm like, oh my god, this is a video game making me stress cry. This is not good. Um, <laughs> I read 18. Yeah, so, like, I read, yeah, yeah, 18, whatever. We Don't we have two more streams? We just have one because I'm not working on, I'm not streaming Friday. Yeah, because I'm working at the Good Friday Easter egg hunt event for my city. Um, because it's a holiday, it's four hours of work, and it's time and a half, so that pretty much makes up for me missing March break, and I need that money. So, yeah, I'm working for the city on, <laughs> on my, on Friday, so I've got today and tomorrow to stream, um, and that's about it. Yeah, the, and the only other thing that we missed was, um, we were talking about, yeah, the monies, right? Uh, we were talking about, um how the store got broken into on Wednesday. Um, like, somebody just broke the window glass, like, and just breached the glass, but they didn't actually go into the store. It didn't set off the alarm. Nothing was stolen. It was just a morning. <laughs> it was a day. I'm on the phone with my dad, like, Dad, we need help. I need you to bring, like, a piece of, uh, like, plywood to the store to cover up the door, but the, the... Uh, the glass company came pretty quickly, so, like, it was rough, but it got all fixed. It got fixed pretty well and pretty quickly, thankfully, and, uh, it was all right, but, man, the stress cry from that was, was brutal, and I didn't expect it, but, uh, oh, my God, yes, you can! Suna, Twitch, baby, oh, you got so that's, we gotta make two sooties now. I'm just here gabbing away, and we already have stuff to do. And you know what we're gonna actually finally get to work on today? And I've been talking about it for, like, literal months. Probably close to a year. I'm gonna start my Omu sculpture. Let's make it three! Oh, no! <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, hello, You came up with the wrong angle, and you ended up just pushing it away. Oh my gosh! Friends, you guys gotta stop. Okay. Almost a Twitch baby. <laughs> Friends, there we go. There she is. Hello, Marshmallow. What a good time for a Marshmallow to come and visit. We, um, how do we... Really? We, oh my gosh, it's a hype train. We have a hype train. This is not how we welcome people back from stream break. Meow. Thank you very much, friends. I appreciate it, but this is not, not how we do this. I have my alarm turned way down too low, I think. Meow. There they are. Now I hear them. Okay. Good stuff. Hello, Marshmallow. Is it not, is it not? I guess it's the way you welcome people back from a stream break. I suppose showing them how much you love them is a way to do that. <laughs> Thanks for flicking a bit of me, Jessie. <laughs> or at Marshmallow. Are we flicking them at Marshmallow? <laughs> oh, and you know what I also did? I am preparing for the possibilities of things happening. I recently, or Pet Rent, yay! I recently ordered gold sparkly pom-poms. Just in case we ever get a golden Kappa hype train. <laughs> I 
I should have them in a couple of days. I ordered a whole bunch of stuff. So, so we, uh, I mean, I may never get to use them or, but it will be nice to have them in, in, in like, you know, oh yeah, they're totally real. I mean, I've been in golden hype trains and they're fabulous. I just, we don't get a lot of trains here, so I don't really expect one to happen here. But I thought about it, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to be prepared because we have a thing that we do for hype trains specifically, right? Like, I want to be able to honor it should it happen, and I don't want to have to go and retroactively do it. Going, oh, I replaced these ones. So I'm like, okay, we're going to be ready. Should it ever happen, we'll be ready. I'm not going to, like, glue the eyes on them. We'll have to do that part and stuff. Should we get a Golden Kappa hype train? But, I mean... That's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I um, took some of the all the money from the birthday shenanigans and ordered some uh, some jewelry findings and stuff in which I included golden golden pom poms. Innocent. Okay. Spy guys community convinced me, and I ordered some diamond. Oh, fun! We got a little diamond art for Little Hunter. Even they like it. It is so relaxing, and it is so, um, I mean, assuming you have the motor control for, you know, the, essentially, writing, because, I mean, that's about the degree of motor control that you need, and it's a really cool, relaxing thing to do, right? All right. You definitely need it, especially with Bloom. Yes, uh, okay. Can I guys innocent? Yes, and in your community, not you specifically. <laughs> Hi. What is up, Marshmallow? True, but I still must proclaim my innocence. <laughs> Spike. <laughs> you guys. Marshmallow is very focused out the window this morning. Okay. So I've got a lot of work to do. I have three cities and an armature to build. So, we, we are going to have to move off soon. I've got, I can feel the, it all over my chin. Okay, you can stick around for the, like the next 30 seconds of hype train, and then, and then you're going to get the boot, okay? Okay. I can do the writing poorly, but I do the writing, so the diamond art might not be too, but there you go, that's excellent. Can you flick it a bit? Thanks for flicking more bits at me, you sweet beans. Maybe there's a ghost of a squirrel out there. Maybe there's just a straight up squirrel out there. There are birds in the bird feeder that she's definitely watching. Eh. And change gloves. I know you don't have to. Well, yeah, I should be okay with the gloves because the gloves right now are more because I'm going to end up working. I probably, because I was going to be working with, um, Agent! the crafting ghost. Yeah, right? With all the extra. <laughs> you sweet bean agent. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I know. Four. Four. I mean, that's a fun way to come back, but that was totally not at all what I was expecting, you guys. Thank you for the warm welcome back. It uh, genuinely means a lot to me. <laughs> Is it warm in here? It's warm in here. But who's counting? Well, I hope somebody is counting, and if anybody's going to count, it's going to be, like, my mods. So I appreciate the counting and helping keep me on track at all times. Cat hair. Cat hair. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are obviously right. It's because you're the best mod. <laughs> I've also had to change back to tea. I'm still having a little coffee sometimes, but my stummy, my stummy, my, more cat hair. But my stomach has been so off lately, um, like the last week that I've like had to cut coffee out again, or at least cut it way back. I'm not drinking it daily right now. Do we have a city with an awareness ribbon? I don't think so. What aware, do we want like a green awareness ribbon? We can do that. 
I'm assuming that that's the awareness ribbon that we were looking for. But no, I don't Yay! think we have any awareness ones. I'm guessing we're putting Spy Guy back up. Yes, we are. I know. <laughs> I demand my yes. I knew that's what was coming. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get a Spy Guy back up. Yeah, when I did the rotation this morning, I'm like, oh, there goes Spy Guy. I know that'll be going back up. <laughs> there we go. There is our Spy Guy. Thank you so much. Clearly a green one. Okay, yes, I like it. We can definitely do yours with the green uh, cerebral palsy awareness. No problem, Agent. If you've got ideas of what you want for the Sid Sprites, just let us know. Otherwise, we'll exclamation study from the list for you. Okay. All right. So we have do the list. Excellent. I like it. Okay. So while uh, while we're we're finishing up here, or while we're relating, we'll uh, we'll get out some some sit sprites because we need at least two right now. Um, I like this pink one with the with the funky eyes. I, I do the list. I got you. For, and yeah, you do. You got the list. We got the list. Okay, and then we'll do... I'm going to have to make more of these soon. Holy beans, friends. Like, I made a lot of these and I'm already going to need to make more. I guess that can be a stream where we just make set sprites one day. That'll be fun. Ooh. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes. The green one with the green eyes. This this is appropriate for today, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, so there's our two that we'll be putting on the hype hat. I lost my needle though. I hope I've got another one. Yeah, that one should do. Okay, good stuff. All right. Yay! <laughs> you got a cause, friends? We're going to support it for you. In fun ways. And then we're going to start building an armature um, for the the Omu. I don't know how far we'll get into it, but I'm very excited that I finally was able to defrost the paper clay that I've made that's been in my freezer for like months now as I s kept procrastinating on getting started on this project. So we're going to use this paper clay to build like the core of the Omu because it's actually going to be pretty big. And what we're going to end up having to do is this is going to have to dry for a while, maybe like at least a week, I'm hoping is enough. Um, and so if we build, once we actually start getting the paper clay on, hopefully we can, uh, it'll dry. Cause I want it to be as conceivably dry as possible because I'm really worried that it, once I start baking it, that it'll shrink on the inside and then the, the armature will lose, um, and then the sculpture will lose its like support underneath and I don't want it to end up like cracking or anything. So I'm going to make sure that the, the paper clay is like really super dry. Um, before we move on to starting to cover it in clay. So we'll see how far we get into building the armature. The why in the clay, the real question, um, because there's flour and moisture in the, in this clay mix. Um, it is essentially made with, um, paper, white glue, um, a, it, a little bit of, actually, I don't think I, there is flour in this one because I use, this is the one that I use with, um, there's a couple different ways you can make paper clay. The easy one is with flour. I don't think I put it in this one because I use, um, like the wall filling compound and which makes it much more like a firm clay than a, like a light paper clay. Um, but because of the moisture content of it, it can just, it can, um, it'll grow mold. So it's just to keep it from getting moldy. And to keep it from drying out. When you freeze it, there's no risk it's going to dry out either. Okay. So, we now need to put our soot, our, our soot sprites on our hat. On the hype hat. Because you beans are amazing to welcome me back with a hype train. Like, ugh. So 
So here's our don't, green. Don't, 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 Hi, Everest. Don't, don't, Welcome to no problem, Jesse. See you later, friend. Oh, holy poop, guys. Holy beans. All right, there's our green. With so it's bright with green eyes, and then we're gonna put the fun pink on them. Oh, yeah, I gotta show you guys. I worked on the uh, do not eat the clay sticker a little bit. It's one of the few stream related stuff. Oh, thank you for the bits, on Brits, you sweet bean. Oh, my goodness. Oh, um. What was I saying? I got distra I got distracted by bits. Oh yeah, I got to work on the do not eat the clay a little bit. Um, so I want to see if you guys like it before I make it go live in the store. Uh. All right. Hi Pat, return to its pedestal. I need to get like one of those um, like head forms, like hat stands for it to go up there so it has a proper like pedestal we'll need to do that and that landed nice stick a stick a sticker okay um hold up a second i have to throw it up because i did not oh um oh yes i can what i can do i can do that hold on Speaking, don't eat the clay. Did you see Spy Guys chatbot recap? Yes, I did. I just saw it this morning. I didn't see it yesterday. But yeah, that chatbot is so good. I've seen that chatbot, I think, in that one other channel besides Spy Guys. And it is just so good. Like, it gets it bang on. Like, it's scary how accurate that those bots can get. Oh, okay. All right. There's my needle back. Oops, I did not put... I kept out all the googly eyes accidentally. I did not put them back into the bag. I should do that. Okay. All right. What are we doing? I am... Welcome and bienvenue. Welcome... Do -do 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 -do. Yes, that is the channel that it's in, but I still wanted to sing it because I love it. I need to brain for a second. <laughs> That's okay. No worries. Bienvenue isn't um, the easiest to spell, even if you are a French speaker. <laughs> um... Right, I was opening editing programs and a sticker to show you. Oh, you know what I can do? I can do that. That's even better because I have it up in... I made the listing in fourth wall. I just haven't set it as live yet. So that's what I can do. I can show you that. All right, I can't show it that way. Hold on. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Okay. All righty, here we go. Hold up. Uh, nope, that is not the button I meant to push. There we go. So this... 
this is, this is, this, do not eat the clay. <laughs> what do we think? Is this what we were going for, or should we do something else with it? Um, I wish my friend, yeah, yeah, yeah. I took it in high school, and that was many moons ago. Yeah, same. Um, even though I'm Canadian, I do not speak French. It is mandatory to take French here up until grade 10, and after that you can opt out of it. Um, or at least it was. Maybe it's still, maybe it's just grade 9 now, I'm not sure, but... It's green! Yes! Well, I mean, we use the green clay because it's kind of like our theme color. Right? And I mean, I, I worked really hard to blend a color that was pretty accurate to our color. So, uh, I couldn't figure out ways to make it too much more interesting. I couldn't get the text to, like, balance without, like, repeating it all the way around, so I thought I would do it and it's fi fun. So, that, if, uh, I, if, uh, I think it's, I think it's pretty good. I don't know, I, I might redo it at some point, but, I mean, we, we have a do not eat the sticker clay. So, and it's great. Okay, we, we have, we have, so we're gonna make this go live then. There we go. I love it with the soot sprites. I I thought, felt the soot sprites were great because like once I realized they wanted to needed to repeat the text, I'm like, well, I need like a little icon in between them, and I very quickly went, well, it needs to be a soot sprite then. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. We should be live now. Yep, that is now live in the fourth wall shop. I am eventually going to get physical stickers made of it, but I need to wait until there's a sale on with the provider that I regularly use. Um, and at that point in time, I'll, I'll have ones on hand that I can send out with orders or um, that I can put up in the Kofi store. Because I can do them less expensively through the Kofi store, but I can't do giveaways and stuff with that, right? Like, so I've kind of got to figure out a way to balance it. But for now, at least we've got it made. And it's up. And it's available. Okay. Oh, you know what I could maybe do? Is, and I'm just trying to think of ways that I could still use the Kofi store and use them at a discounted price is I could do, like, a digital good or, like, an I'm going to fulfill it good for stickers once I get them made. Because one of the projects, uh, it is live, I have checked. <laughs> if you shop bookmarked, well, any good mod should. <laughs> to make sure that the, the streamer did not screw things up. Okay. All right. So let's get started. Oh, this is a very messy tile. Let's get started on um, making some soot sprites. Hold on. I had my camera set for a wider view today. I also haven't really touched it for a week. So, all right. Okay. All right, cleaner tile that we can work with. All right. Um, can you guys hear music? Well, of course. Why do you always unmute yourself every time? Thank you. I just go into my one dashboard and somehow it always ends up unmuting in there. And enjoy your work, Lurk Empress! Okay. Um, so, we need soot sprites. So we're going to make one with a green awareness ribbon. I'm not sure. I don't think we got any other requests specifically in yet. Um, agent said that, yeah, that's fine. So, Jesse, Cat, Jesse, what do you want for yours? Oh, did Jesse lurk? Jesse lurked, didn't they? 
Yes. Okay. Dropping the kids off at school. Okay. They'll be back. Um, so we'll start working on Debs and maybe some from the list while we wait for Jesse Kent to come back. All right. Good stuff. Sailor Moon. Okay. So we do have a Sailor Moon soot spray. Is there the cat? Yeah, we can do Luna. Absolutely we can do Luna. We will definitely do a Luna Soot Sprite. I love it. So we're going to do the Cerebral Palsy Badge one first. Hey, look, I found a little Soot Sprite just hanging out. Anyways, okay. That's my weird moment for the day done. So I have not um, edited any of the photos of the Soot Sprites. I have been very, I'm not going to say lazy about it per se, but I have definitely not been um, doing those things. <laughs> so... Um, I'll get to editing uh, photos and editing of them at some point. Um, and I'm not going to lie. It's probably not going to be right away because I've got some other stuff that I need to do for, I need to, I can't work in gloves like these. I don't know how artists work in full size gloves at all. Like I've seen like Queen V, she does like all of her work wearing full gloves. And I'm like, I can't, I can't. It's just, it's weird. Okay. Also my hands are sweaty. Okay. I mean, props to people who can do that if that's what works for you, but it's like, I can't. Um, lazy, and you know what? That's okay. You're Exactly, right? Like, it's it's not laziness. I was being good to myself. I was letting myself rest, and that's important. Um, but, yeah, I definitely have not gotten them done, and I probably won't for a bit because I need to get other stuff done. I need to do, because another project that I really, really want to do... Um, which I'm probably not going to get to this week. I think I'll probably just work on this again on Wednesday and I'll prep for that one for like next week for like Wednesday um, to work on. And then, because I want to get that live so I can get prints and stuff made up so that I can shift the Support Pride Shop to something that I can ship as letter mail instead. So I'm going to try and do like stickers or postcards and stuff like that for the Support Pride. Um, because the keychains as awesome as the keychains and necklaces as awesome as they are, aren't cost effective to be like the inexpensive price point giveaway kind of thing anymore because I, I had to raise the cost of shipping because they won't let me send it through letter mail anymore because Canada Post are cranky apparently. <laughs> so... I need another solution, so I want to get working on that project, but I need to do some background work um, to get the pieces um, of the composition ready. So, Because I've got a design in mind that I've been wanting to, to paint for a while, so we're going to have um, a paint stream coming up, but I need to get all of the elements um, essentially on the paper so we can just paint. Um, because the transfer process and everything is long and tedious, and I'd rather do that off screen. I know some artists will do that kind of thing, like the whole, like they'll 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 do everything from start to finish on streams, but a lot of them do, um, like it's their full time job. Like I know one streamer, the the one that I'm specifically thinking of, she does like. She'll do, like, prep her mail and stuff on stream, and she does, like, a bunch of administration tasks and stuff like that, um, because she effectively, like, it is literally her full-time job. She streams for eight hours a day, five days a week, four to five days a week, so she does all that kind of stuff, and so <clears throat> it makes me think that I probably should do that kind of stuff more myself, but at the same time, I only stream for 15 hours a week, not closer to 40, <laughs> Or no, not even 15 hours a week. I stream for like 9 hours a week. Kiki cannot do math. Kiki and math don't mix. Nope. 
not so good with the maths. This clay is very soft today. So yeah, tomorrow I will um, probably, well not tomorrow, I don't know about tomorrow, but for next week I'm going to have prepped all the stuff to work on the You Are Safe With Me uh, watercolor painting. Ooh, that's right, that means I'm going to need to order metallic watercolor paints. I'm going to have to do that this week. Okay. Because it's going to be a safety pin, and it'll need metallics. And then I wanted to do some accenting, but I don't want to have to just water down acrylic paint for this. I'd rather use actual watercolor. Okay, so we got two almost ready here. Okay. I accidentally shaved the sides of my head too short. Um, I'm usually pretty good at taking it down. I'll take it down to like a two when I... Uh, shave the sides of my head um, and then I'll like fade up the back down to like uh, a one and I accidentally screwed that up I didn't fade it right I ended up with like a chunk like right here and the only way I could fix it was to take the whole thing down to a one and uh, <laughs> I'm like I'm usually better at this so I took the whole thing down to one and I actually really like it I might do it more I like it really short on my sides. It's the only reason this haircut works is because I can maintain the sides on my own. If I didn't, like, it would be so long by the time I had to go in for a trim. Like, it would be, I'd either be in there every three weeks or, like, it would be so long by the time I went there. It would be awful. I use one and a half, yeah, um, and that's usually what I do, so I usually do like, I two the whole thing, and then I'll use like a one and a half, and then like a one, and then I'll just clean up the back, um, but yeah, it was like, I, I accidentally like got it like too firm of a line along the back at one spot, and like, eh, it's too high up for me to try and fade that anymore, so, phew. Are you, uh, are you at this dimmy buzz like now? Yeah, I love it. It will, it feels good. I love, anytime I cut my hair, it's the best feeling. I love the feeling of rubbing my head. It's, yeah, it's, it feels so good. I love it. It's, it feels amazing. Yeah, I don't think I could ever go back to having a full head of hair again. Even if I decided I wanted long hair again, I would definitely do still like where like it's uh, hair here and still undercut underneath. I could never, I don't think I could ever go to a full head of hair again between how good it feels to be shaved, like just playing with it, but also to not have that weight on my head. Like, yeah, I need to cut mine. It hasn't been that short since last summer. Fair enough. I love it that short. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, right? Like, undercuts are the best thing ever. I'm trying to convince Little Hunter to get an undercut because their hair is always so tangled and so unmanageable, but they don't have as thick of hair as I do. Um, but they're not quite there yet. I'm not going to push them too hard, clearly, but I've suggested it. 
All right, so let's get some white for eyes. I'm clearly very chatty today, huh? Okay. All right. Plus a full head is too much for mom to deal with it's, if it's all long. I mean, yeah, 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 right? <sighs> yeah, I've gotten pretty good at shaving the back of my head on my own, but uh, sometimes I still fail. <laughs> Failure is still an option. Okay, all right. Nope, that eye needs to be slightly bigger. Mine really is fine, so the weight has never been a problem, but the drying time in general care, it's just so much easier. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My hair dries in, like, no time. My hair is so thick that it would take, like, forever for my hair to dry. So much so that I think that that's where a lot of my scalp problems came into play was because my scalp was damp for hours, and I think I had, like... I didn't have, like, dandruff or anything, per se. I didn't necessarily have a fungus, but it wasn't healthy. It was always itchy... You know, and it just, it feels so much better since I shaved it all off and I don't have it, everything because there's so much less hair that it takes so much less time to dry. It still takes a while, surprisingly, but, um, like it'll, the, the right in the hair will still stay damp for a bit, but like, not like it used to be, so... Like, really, I cut my hair into this hairstyle more for my, like, mental health and sensory issues than because I really like the hairstyle. I mean, I did, and I was excited about it as a hairstyle, but I also was like, I need to do this for, like, my mental health. This, it's just, too, like, I just couldn't anymore. Like, I, I don't even have the words for it because it's one of those sensory things where you just don't have the words, you just can't. <laughs> right? Like... At the longest, uh, before I cut it short, mine would take up to four hours to dry and open it. Yeah! Yeah, pretty close to it for mine, too, because it is, like, it is so thick. Every time, I, I've got the kind of thick hair where every time you go to, I go to a new hairdresser, I'm like, wow, your hair is really thick! And my current hairdresser, like, she knows what she's getting into. <laughs> she schedules me appropriate time. <laughs> I mean, not so much now that it's, it's, this is much simpler, but when it was long, she, you know, she needed extra time. The only thing I miss being able to tie a knot without any hair bands or anything. Yeah, there are definitely some hairstyles that I wish I could still do with long, cute hair. Um, and some of them I can kind of do in this hair, but it looks funny when it's only this and this side parts aren't pulled into it as well, so... I've got limited cute things I can do with my hair that I really like, but yeah, some of it's a little weird. All right. Oh, our cerebral pals, tongue words. Kiki cannot word today. Um, cerebral pal, pal, no, still can't say it. Cerebral palsy awareness ribbon time. Like, I can't say that word, I swear. <laughs> Where's my little razor? There it is. The only... Yeah, yeah, yeah. My hair was no. I could never really could tie my hair without anything. Like, I needed, like, the super-duper strong elastics with, A, how thick it was, and, like, it's really coarse as well. Like, it doesn't stick to itself. Because it's so coarse as well. Alright. A little thinner, a little longer. Okay, good to know.
Oh, sorry. Um, I just twist it and tie a knot and it would stay that way and it was amazing. Yeah, I couldn't even do like the ones where you would twist it and use like the steak to put it in or whatever. I, uh, like anything that wasn't like super pulled tight would just end up falling out. I also had, um, uh, I still do, but they, I've worked them into the hairstyle now. Have like all like the short fuzzies all around here that are always like short no matter what I do almost bang length that always are always there so now like I've just got them trained to go up into the mop but it also made it really hard for me to do anything because I always had something falling out no matter what I did but like if the ease of getting it out of the way is my favorite thing about my hair it's not the style for me right yeah exactly the ease of getting out of the way is very important <laughs> But not necessarily the first thing. The ease of getting this out of the way for me now is still pretty easy because I can just like do like a quick little pullback. I still need an elastic, but and it works pretty well, but for the most part it does its own thing and it's alright. So Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Deb. I'm going to trim down the ends just a touch. I need a little liquid sculpty so I don't have to squish it to make it stick. I'm working because I'm working on my project for Jen. I can't go into details because I don't want her catching wind of it. Yeah, no worries. But cool beans. I can say I'm coloring. Nice! Alright, we have one sooty with a cerebral palsy and awareness ribbon. And then this one we're going to make Luna. And then we'll do like two random ones for the list for uh, the others. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, one for lock and one for agent. Okay. Oh, I did it again. I put my arm right in the liquid Sculpey. Someday I will not do that. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad we like it. There we go. I thought I wouldn't be so bothered by marshmallow coming up this morning because I took an allergy pill late last night. Um, but no, it is still going. Okay, I'm going to get a pull up a picture of Luna. Uh, just so I can get like the placement of the ears right. Okay, I'm gonna need some pink for inside of these ears. Actually, that is practically perfect right there. Where are you? 
wet. How did you get wet? I feel like I've barely accomplished anything so far today, and it's already time for 11s. Like, <laughs> where has our time gone today? Chappy chatting and hyping. Yes, apparently having a lovely time. I think her time has gone to having a lovely. You're right. You're right. I need to be less worried about, you know, someone is missing. Who's missing? I'm missing who's missing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what was there that isn't. Petey, oh, sorry, yes, Petey is missing. Yes, we will put Petey back up. Okay. All right, I will put up the Petey Piranha. We go. Petey has a home. We're not even a co-working stream. Don't worry so much about productivity. Right? I guess you're right. Like, I don't know. In my brain, I am an art streamer and I should be accomplishing art on stream, but I gotta remember that's not what it's all about. Alright, so we have some Luna ears. I got sleep study results back now. Low apnea, so a good candidate for surgical intervention, and a high limb movement, so meds for restless leg syndrome. Wow, I'm so Huzzah! glad. Is that what you? Is that the kind of thing that you were hoping for? That it would be. Um, is that the direction you were hoping for? Like I, I don't know exactly what your hope was for the outcome. And what kind of surgical in intervention would be would be happening? Oh, um, please answer this in a couple of minutes because we're like 15 seconds out from ad. Um, <laughs> but yay. Yay for answers is definitely true. All right, guys. We're going into 11Zs. Please take a break. Look away from your screens. Stretch. Have some water. Take your meds if you need them. Those are exactly the results you were hoping for, and that is amazing. 
and I'm so happy for you then, friend. All right, we are going into our break, and I will see you very, very shortly.
All right, I am back. I am sorry. I was talking to a hunter. Mmm, tea. Oh, I forgot to put sugar in this. Oh, well, I'll drink it anyways. All right. Back to making a Luna. Okay. So, okay, so we need a little bit of the yellow. I'm going to put the pink away. So didn't need much of it. All right. And... More, yeah, I can do, I don't think I want to do a gold. I think it would look funny. I'm definitely going to do a yellow. Um, and then I'm trying to debate, maybe I do, what do I do with the eyes? I usually keep my eyes normal, but not always. I feel like, Luna would look funny if I didn't give her anime eyes. What did I do with Sailor Moon? That's a good question. Okay, so the actual Sailor Moon still has regular eyes, so Luna will still have regular sit sprite eyes. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Okay. Mm. All right. Change the shape of them at all? I did not. Okay. All right. Okay. my tissue go. Okay. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. So she oh I did need the pink because she needs a little pink little pinky nose. Just a little pink blop of a nose. I don't know what a blob is. Apparently that's a word now. Right at the bottom of her eyes, pretty much. Still in between them. That's actually too big, I think. Also totally cute as just a cat until we get this uh, moon on it. And then give her just a little bit of an uwu face, because that's kind of what Luna lo usually looks like. Not that far to the side, though. And I think I'm going to skip putting a mouth. I think I'm just going to end up making it look funny if I do. All right. And then we'll, so we'll put the moon on and maybe some whiskers. I don't know. Not sure about the whiskers. Those are exactly the result. Oh, okay. Neurologist stated my tonsils were very large and probably restricting my airway, so the surgical erection is tonsil removal, you think? Oh, that's cool. That is very interesting. 
Sometimes I think I should probably go and have a sleep. I've been thinking about it myself that I should probably have a sleep study done because I've been having so much trouble breathing when I sleep. Like I get that um, raspy, I can hear my, uh, hear myself breathing in my head thing happening all the time. With like, and the weird little popping noise. But uh, the thought of doing a sleep test is just, no. <laughs> But I'm glad that it, it's working for you the way that you w need and want it to for your health. So that is excellent. try and just shape this now. You won't sleep well, that's for sure, but I feel like it should be mandatory at a certain age, like a colonoscopy. Fair enough. Are colonoscopies mandatory at a certain age? Or are they just, like, highly recommended? Like, mammograms at age 50. It's highly recommended, but it's not, like, mandatory. <laughs> Hobby set up a desk to, uh, for, uh, for me, so I'm not on mobile for the first time ever and how do I get the pronoun extension okay hold on um, do uh, did I set up a command for that one I thought I did maybe I didn't hold on I did haha -ha! <sighs> like technically in Canada um, like, there are regulatory bodies that still help with making sure they remind you of that kind of stuff. Like, I don't know about colonoscopies, but I know that for women, um, we get our, reg or we get, like, a letter from Health Canada reminding us when it's time to get a pap done. Which is super helpful because it's a three to five year thing, so nobody would ever remember. <laughs> when it's time to get one done. Alright, that be a Luna. There we go. So we have a Luna, we have a Cerebral Palsy Awareness Month Sooty, and I said that correctly because I've been getting tongue-tied on that one all day today. Okay, alright. Devil Horns, ooh, that's excellent, I love it. That sounds like an excellent one to do. Thank you for being ahead of me and already being on <laughs> the exclamation city for me, Deb. Oh, it's number 42. Of course it's 42. <laughs> with devil horns. And of course I think they need to be red. It wouldn't be right. This is random, but mom didn't get my compression socks up high enough and it hurts and I can't fix it. Oh no. That's unfortunate. Is mom at work and you're at home right now or? How many cities are we making? Four. Yes. So we've got two down, 
two to go, one of which is going to have devil horns. No, it's okay. That is totally all right. That is understandable and that would be very frustrating I mean I am a person who has sensory issues if I have a sensory so like something like that that's a discomfort that's gonna live in my brain all day and is going to color my entire day and I it would drive me bonkers not being able to do anything about it so I get I totally understand don't be upset about that one at all Just the dog. Alright. Dab horns. Let's see, I don't need the yellow. Why did I put... Where's my white? in the wrong places. Uh, reds. We're gonna have to change finger cuts. Yes it is. Uh, if it gets too bad I can just unzip the part way. Oh fair enough. Okay. At least there is a, a minor fix. Or a fix that can work. Uh, okay. Eyes first. I feel like we should also give the him a little tail as well, like a little um, spiky tail that kind of comes out from behind. And I forget that compression socks, or at least some compression socks, have zippers. I don't think the ones my dad's have have zippers. I don't know a lot of people with compression socks, but <laughs> I know my dad's. I don't think my dad's did, but he, uh, he doesn't tend to wear them. Yes, please. A tail. I like it. Yeah. I think it needs a tail, right? our nice red and then I will need a little bit of wire I think because it's going to be the best thing I can do to give the tail a little support well, maybe I don't need to yeah, we'll see we'll see we'll see what happens uh, yes, you have to specifically ask or search for them with zippers. Usually they do not have them. Oh, okay. Alright, where did my blade go? There it is. Sculpey. Whoops. Okay. All right. We're all right. Oh, no. Stay in my hand, please.
There's one horn. Now, can we get the second horn to look the same? That is the question, right? And then let's fix up this because this got a little smushed down here. Let's put our details back in. All right, and then let's give him a little devil tail. By the way, there is no music. Oh, yes. Excellent. I have... There should be music. Why is there not music? Oh, it's not actually playing. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was. I mentioned... I asked earlier, but I guess nobody was around at the time. <laughs> Whoops. Um, okay, let me know if you can hear it. it I... Audio levels are weird, because I used my computer for non-streaming purposes <laughs> this week. So, okay. Alright. Basic tail. Shape. Let's put a little pointy bit on the end of it. Stop dropping it! Especially when it's red, it's going to stain whatever it gets stuck to. I don't know where that went. It went into my carpet. My carpet is stained. All right, even more than before. Okay, um... Oh, right, hold on. Um... Forgot I often have to tell repoint Spotify. All right, now you should be able to hear. It. Let me know if it's an appropriate audio level. I seem to be fiddling with it when you said nothing. Noticing that nothing changed later would change. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, right? Totally don't don't mind. <laughs> hey me, we all miss things. Okay. I often have the music so low that I can't hear it or I can barely hear it, so not hearing it didn't be, wasn't weird for me. There it is, you can bring it up by like two numbers. Okay. a little better. And of course I picked the Ghibli music today because I, I kind of expected to actually be working on Ghibli, which just has not happened yet. <laughs>
There we go. There's a cute little tail curled up in front of him. All right. And then what are we doing for our last soot sprite for the day? I'll pick one from the list. Let's see what we've got. Alright, let's give it a random one. With a mail! Okay, sure, we'll do mail. I like it. I like it. I'm a fan. No, I'm a letter. Bum bum. Right, right, right. Where's my? Yep. <laughs> Gotta make bad jokes. The best part about making bad jokes is when I beat Hunter. <laughs> 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 yep. There we go. made myself a challenge with this piece. Lots of tiny areas. Ooh, nice. For the piece you're working on for Jen? Big, big wide eyes while we're reading a letter, right? So the question is, for this male, do we do it so it looks like it's the back of the letter where, you know, with like the lines that you can see like the folds of the envelope? Or do we, like, paint on it so it looks like a letter in terms of, like, a mailing label and um, stamp kind of thing? I know our little blurb says stamp, but I thought maybe we'd ask about it, whether we wanted to, like, make it look enveloped that way. Do not put on stream but check DM. Okay. Give me one second. In Discord, I presume? Yes. Okay. Oh, neato! That 
is a lot of pretty work. Okay, but we're ending it there because not on stream. Okay. Very cool. Envelope. Envelope. Yes. So we want it to look like the back, like with the fold, or like the front of the, with like the stamp and stuff. Because I could paint a teeny tiny little stamp. Or maybe, I don't know, play a teeny tiny stamp. I suppose if we're going to do anything, our stamp should be green, right? <laughs> because that's what it would be in our world. I'm going to have to, like, change up my stream colors where green is just the theme color now. Because I had done it in, like, blues and purples. So, Rubo, hello! Hello, friend! How are you? Slightly smaller. Slightly smaller. green stamp and then and then we just like cute kiki I'm gonna redo this. I like this idea, but that was not the right tool for writing. Stroops is hanging in there, but I has coffee and a biscuit and work to do, and also Kiki and folks that hang out, so life is good. Well, thank you, Struble. Good to see you, friend. Oh, hoy, hey, Cola! Does anybody else turn the page when they're coloring and drawing? Oh yeah, absolutely. They don't work on anything fully upright at any time. It has to totally be rotated for where I'm working and what I'm working on. Alright, try again with our teeny tiny... I know a lot of artists that do that with, like, their iPad. Like, forget turning it on, like, just the... Because, like, when you're using, like, your iPad or your whatever, you can, like, just rotate it on the screen, and most people rotate their image. Some people just straight up rotate the iPad. <laughs> so, yes, it is a Luna Sooty! Out with Jessie Cat's request for her resub today. We have a devil horn. We have a with devil horns and tail, and we have a cerebral palsy awareness month um, ribbon, and we're currently making one holding a little letter. And then we're gonna actually get on with the pants of the stream and start sculpting our own well we're gonna start with building the armature you see not for me i mean i have an old-fashioned graphic tablet can't turn my monitor around fair enough yeah uh i'm getting gifted an old-fashioned graphics tablet um my mother-in-law apparently had bought one once and used it all at once and never used it again i'm pretty sure it's not i don't know anything about it um, I just know it's a graphics tablet. I'm assuming it doesn't have a screen on it, but uh, I'm excited to get it whenever she gets it to me. 
I mean, if I practice more, I could learn, right? <laughs> Hence why I like the iPad, because I can rotate the art and can't intrinsically do that in graphics tablet. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, I used to draw like it was paper. Exactly, right? Like, that's, I can see that. I would do that. I don't know if I could do that. I don't know, I guess I'll have to see what it's like once I'm using a drawing tablet. But. Okay, um... I need a little bit of paint. I need a teeny, teeny, tiny brush. And I don't think I'm actually going to be able to write Kiki, but I'll try. This brush does not want to keep its bristles together. Hold on. I need better brushes that I have not been using for years and damaged. definitely not going to be able to actually write my name or anything. I'm just going to make it look like there's text. Yeah. Alright. Good enough. So the downside of this desktop setup is that I need to walk across the room to get to the keyboard to chat, which is fine. Uh, I get more actual work done, get more steps in, but I'm late to say hi to friends. That is okay, Empress! You should get a wireless keyboard. Just saying. Whatever gets the lines where they need to be, exactly. I had my first tablet for almost a decade before I decided to buckle down and try getting used to drawing on it. I hated the process of creating the first 100% digital drawing, though it did help a lot with getting used to a tablet. I'm really looking forward to getting into digital drawing, so I think I will have a little bit less upset about the process. Um, cause I've already got a couple of things that we really need to make. Like I really want to make, um, a soot sprite t-shirt, like the one that's in our theme, like the one that you can see oh, here, there, nope, there. <laughs> Pointing is not easy for me. Anyways, you see the sooty. Um... And so I'm gonna, like, have to, uh, like, I want to make a t-shirt that looks like that t-shirt, but to do that we really need, um, a, I need a digital drawing program. I don't think I have the skills to do that in just, like, a graphic editing program. Alright, so there is our fourth and final soap sprite for the day. We can clean up and build some armature. Alright. I know the first two, but not the last two. So, we have Luna, the Cerebral Palsy Awareness uh, one, uh, Devil, and with Male. He came back for Nuggies. Tiny break. For me, the biggest draw to digital doodles is the undo button. It's, you know what? It's true. Like, my sketching process is incredibly messy. And it takes me several attempts to really refine a good line. And doing that on paper is all but impossible, right? Like, you're either totally just eating up, like, your paper with refining your line over and over again. Or you're going to have to, like, refine your line, transfer it, try again, transfer it until you get your lines right. So... So much work. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to just having, like, layers to refine my outline and, like, my line work, and then I can move forward. Like, that's what I'm really looking forward to, because that's where I struggle most with, is, is line work and get that shape and stuff. And I want to have tons of layers, which will eventually get deleted, because you can only have so many layers at once, but... Um, but that's really what I'm I'm excited about. You already knew they were coming, was asking uh, who else was, but no one answered. <laughs> All right. I am good. I am not, uh, not personally needing chicken nuggies just now. 
All right, we'll see. We'll see at one and when I'm hungry after lunch. All right, I'm gonna set these off to the side for safety, and we're going to build an armature for an omu. So an omu, I need to pull up a reference photo that I can keep up on screen, especially in case anybody does not know what an omu is. All right. I should have thought ahead and saved reference photos, but I didn't. Okay. Uh, So, I'm gonna do, do, do. All right, so this, oh darn it, I'm a bad at this. Because that's my theme phrase. I'm bad at this. Okay. So this is an omu uh, from Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Um, they're effectively big. But actually, I don't like the angle of that photo. Give me one second. Let me find a better angle. Well, that's fine for the reference image that I'm putting up. I'll use different ones that I've got up that are um, a little bit more descriptive. I've actually found a 3D model, um, like the figure of it, and it's <laughs> $400, but it's got some really good 3D images that uh, I'm going to use. Um, as as reference so if anyone wants to see like the whole thing please ignore the fact that this is an eBay link and I really don't care about whether or not you're buying this particular thing but this is some really good 3d imaging of what this is inevitably gonna look like so there you go I thought an oh moo and the sound surprised <laughs> I'm like oh moo yeah <laughs> It's so much easier to think ahead in hindsight, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Thinking ahead is way easier in hindsight. Uh, my sketching process is incredibly study, stubborn and lazy. Freehand and no eraser, not because of dedication or anything. I just can't be bothered to find or buy a new eraser. Oh my god, I couldn't work without an eraser. Like, I could not. Welcome back, Jessie Cat! Hold up. Oh, that must show Jesse Cat. There is the Luna. Before we move on, there we go. Yay! All right. So let's let's start building an armature. So honestly, I'm kind of winging it. I should probably plan more with armature building, but that's not how I roll. Um, all right, so I'm going to build kind of like, um, what's the word for a pyramid? The math word? One of those, <laughs> but not quite even because it's going to be triangle at the front. Like, and I have to leave room in the front dome for where the eye holes are going to go. 
It's going to essentially be hollow in the little front section. And then the back is going to be... Oh, spontaneity is king. Spontaneity is great, and I love spontaneity, but however, planning is sometimes really important. Like, for example, I still very, very much want to sculpt uh, Howl's Boofing Castle as a light-up thing. This is kind of like my practice piece of how to build a, uh, a light-up thing. I've got the little light, that's not the problem. So I'm not going to have to do any like weird wiring, but getting the support structure and like the housing space is what I need practice on before I'm also fighting with the sculpture itself. Because obviously House Castle is going to be a monster to support, right? I'm not going to be able to build it on its just its two legs, I don't think because like sculpting that will be so hard and have it be really secure so like this is kind of like my practice piece for like my big real project that i deeply deeply want to make because like howl's castle is just a labor of love but like that's gonna be a long long sculpt kim <laughs> kim my beautiful friend thank you for always coming in with a warm fuzzy we have one for Deb. You're always so attentive and kind to streamer and chat, and you're so authentically engaged with those around you. It is true. It is true. Thank you so much, Kim. And thank you, Kim. Kim. Thank you, Deb, for being awesome. <laughs> okay, all right. How do I do this? I'm really nervous, and I don't actually think I have enough wire for this. So I'm going to end up having to use more of this than I wanted to, but that's okay. This stuff is just harder to um, bend and get to the right shape and connect with other pieces, but we'll make it work. You're swell! <laughs> Kim, how are you today? Hi, De Debbie Cat. Oh my gosh, Debbie Cat. Hello, Debbie Cat. I have to go down, but I wanted to just say it was co-working with you the past while and have a great Western stream. Debbie Cat, thank you so much. That is so sweet of you. And like, thanks for hanging out with me. Like that's, uh, I feel special. Thank you. <laughs> I'm always, always, like, very flattered when, like, the professional and, like, semi-professional streamers, like Debbie Cat, are hanging out here. Like, okay, all right. <laughs> all right, I don't want to use these pliers on this wire, because I'm going to ruin them. All right. Let's get my ones that are already ruined and are much stronger. Okay. These are the ones that are much stronger, and the other ones are already ruined. Kiki, you're so fucking <laughs> I love you, Kim. You are wholesome in your own way. I found a new stream the other day, and it was actually, like, it was really saucy, and they swear, but it was still, like, a really wholesome environment. And I told them, I'm like, I love it here. It's, like, wholesome. And he's like, I don't know about wholesome. And I'm like, kind of. Like, in the way I need it to be wholesome, it's wholesome. <laughs> you are special. Wait, hold on. <laughs> let's be unstarstruck. Or let's be starstruck, right? Yeah, right? It's so hard sometimes to not be like, but you're like the big streamers that I like watching and that I look up to, right? Like... <sighs> Kim said that about me and I've never felt so seen. Oh, that's awesome! Not gonna lie, Stroobs, yours is one of my favorite streams to hang out in. You and Kim are both streamers that I look up to, even though, like, you're, you've been streaming shorter periods of- actually, no, I think Kim's probably been streaming around the same amount of time I, I have, maybe... I, I don't know. Anyways, even though you guys haven't been streaming, like, tons of time longer than me, like, I totally look up to you guys. <laughs> So, 
this is my main like a frame literal a frame okay and then Yeah, I'm getting there less and less too these days, uh, mostly because my life is all over the place and I don't have as much time to dedicate to networking on Twitch as much as I would like. It's like I have my stream time and that's all I've got time for lately, which really upsets me. I like being in the community. We'll see how I'm doing. People are busy, heck I'm busy, and don't seem to make some of my own streams recently. Well, that happens, right? Uh, okay. <laughs> Fire hand. Fire hand marshmallow. We love it. should have made this longer because this is working well but I need this to be long enough to turn this way and go all the way I think all right so I'm gonna try again I got a lot of this wire so that's not a big deal because I'm just making shit up as I go look hello that's news to me maybe I should go follow yeah right <laughs> number one reason I won't stop I won't start streaming <laughs> streaming isn't for everybody right and not everybody can stream because oh my god there are not enough <laughs> streams to go around like everybody would be here all the time hello pun dad all right no longer I hate FOMO. Oh my god. I have parenting FOMO hardcore. Like, I always want to go and, like, oh, little Hunter and Hunter are going off and doing this fun thing. I'm like, but I want to come. And it's like, I have to remember that one, they get to have special time to themselves. I can't be in it all the time. And two, I need time to myself. Like, Hunter will be like, yeah, I'm going to take little Hunter out so you can have some time to yourself. And I'll be like, but I want to go. I want to go do the thing. I don't want to miss the thing. <laughs> it's a interesting challenge to be a whole person and be a parent at the same time <laughs> and not miss out on the things. Okay, come on. Don't want to miss a thing like the Aerosmith song? Well, maybe. It's not entirely untrue. He did write it about his daughter, so. Uh, Joel called to say, well, nothing, actually. <laughs> Don't you love spouses who do that sometimes? Also, ew, he called. Who uses the phone anymore? If Hunter actually calls me, I know there's, like, a real emergency. Like, it's important if he's calling me. <laughs> and same with him. Like, if I call him, he knows. Like, it's important. And he's gotta, he's, like, be there. Uh, Burn and Joel when he isn't even here to defend himself. Yeah, but it's only, like... Uh, excuse me, as I say the, that Hunter is actually calling me, so I'm going to mute right now. Sorry, guys. If I can find the right button. Well, excuse me, princess.
Yup. He's already filled you guys in. <laughs> Here I am like, no, me, 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 me. My partner, fam. <laughs> what are we going to talk about when you get here, right? Like, I live with you. He's, like, he's always... Oh, when it... Someone, he... Sometimes he calls when he's on his way home. Like, what are you going to talk about? Yeah, right? See, no, I can kind of understand. How's your... My heart rate's okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Time it, Yes. Hunter believes in comedic timing. <laughs> Very much so. That could have been a telegram. Um, <laughs> actually, let's see. How is my heart rate? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's try again to do this and not be given a heart attack by my partner. <laughs> Who's intentionally trolling me to stress me out? Raven! Hello, friend! Welcome back! You are goblining in the most beautiful way possible when, as soon as I finally get back to starting to work, you come in and derail the whole thing. <laughs> you like your soot spray to be? Kiki, I just got done with the sooties, right? Did nothing has arrived? <laughs> I know you're not intentionally trolling, but you know, that was appropriate. <laughs> was there chaos in your stream? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that sounds like there was some ex excellent chaos. Excellent cast. Okay, yeah, we need to take these gloves off again. Going back to your work life. Enjoy! Uh, a sooty with a uh, blurple ink sploot. Okay. I think I can do a blurple ink sploot. I'm gonna try at least. Now, so are we doing it purple blurple? Or are we gonna do like the like um, blurple tie like blue purple blue purple look? Cause I can work with either. Did get bacon get spied or bloomed? <laughs> I got dinoed. Oh no. <laughs> Getting dinoed is a beautiful, terrifying thing. I have been dinoed before, and it is. Yeah. Oh. And I decided that, I know that Danny just released the new, um, Streamfest sign up. I'm gonna sit this one out again, um, just because it is only a few days away from when I have to go in for a minor medical procedure. And it's not even anything big. It's literally going in for some testing and stuff like that. Um, but it's gonna be the kind of thing that my brain is gonna be a little worked up about beforehand. And I don't want to be going through a stream fest while my brain is all worked up. So I'm going to skip this one and then I'm going to do the next stream fest, I think. Because I haven't done one in a while. I haven't done one since like October. My first hype train was caused by Danny. It is a lot, but in the most wonderful way. I My... my I'm not sure if my first hype train was... Uh, jester related, but like one of my very first, if not my first, was a jester raid, and I just about died. Ah, uh, wait, there's a stream. Uh, it just went up like yesterday, so it should still be up. Ooh. 
Luke was responsible for the first hype train and he broke my whole computer. <laughs> love how stinking amazing our community is, right? Like, how stinking amazing is our community? Oh, like, I am so stinking. Wait, did we decide what we were making, or am I still just going, assuming things? Oh, right. Blurple ink sploot. Um, Raven, did I, if you missed it, I, if you answered I missed it, do you want it to be, um, like, purple blurple? Or do you want it to be, like, purp like the stripes, purple and blue stripes, that I make an ink splute out of? Because I know blurple is often a stand-in for purple, but it started from Business Chicken's tie, which is, like, a purple-blue stripe, right? Do I have that right? Do I have my lore correct, friends? <laughs> you know you've got good channels when they all have like lore and themes and... <laughs> Bluish purple, blurple, okay. I can do that. I can absolutely do that. Okay. I suddenly could not think straight, but then I did. When you don't know if you should file it in blue or purple. All right, fair enough. I have a blur blurple inks because we go, ah, we're go, ah, yeah, right? Um... So I am currently doing a puzzle that is literally, um, why are you wet? Why is everything wet? What is going on here? Why, 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 why? I'm going to let that dry and then fix it because anything else is, I think, going to make a bigger mess. I'm not going to make that bigger. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, alright, so, let's blend a blurple. So there's the purple to start with. Let's get some blue to add to this. what the title of my memoir I would read that memoir Kim please write it <laughs> I imagine you would have a very interesting life story to sit down and tell and I would I'm here for it you've had some super interesting life experiences and I'm yeah I totally buy that book I, on the other hand, lived a very sheltered suburban, <laughs> lived a very suburban white uh, middle class household upbringing. I do not have a lot of stories. <laughs> uh, okay. This is still pretty purple. Needs a little more blue. My problem is that I take the rules of improv and applied them to my life. I want to take the rules of improv and apply them to my life. I wish very much to be silly and wacky and uh, unexpected and weird and random in life. Very much so. And I'm trying very hard to uh, incorporate that into my life much more than <laughs> that. 
No, but. <laughs> Alright. This still seems pretty purple. I'm gonna put a little bit of white in this to lighten it. And you know, first I'm gonna put more blue in because this is still pretty purple. is pretty blurple and so we're gonna add in some white to lighten it no but that's why you stream standing up there you go is that why <laughs> Alright, I had to lighten it so that you could tell in contrast, because um, otherwise this was going to be pretty dark on this sit sprite. But this looks pretty blurple to me. I, looking at it, it looks both blue and purple. I know it looks more purple on my screen, um, but uh, on the camera, but this is pretty blurple. It just lightened so I could have the contrast. Alright, now I need to fix these eyes. I don't know why they're so weird. All right, good stuff. I'm sorry, I think maybe <laughs> you figured me out, Deb. <laughs> How do you do yoga without a butt? <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness, Shield Wall, welcome in, friends. Hello. Hi, friends. I'm not expecting this today. Hi, Raiders! My name is Kiki. My pronouns are she, they. I'm a polymer clay artist. Right now we're working on some soot sprites. The trolls be gone. The shield wall is here. Welcome! I'm here twice, meow! Hey, tab merchants for Kim! Hi, Nate! Welcome, Raiders! Um, today we're trying to get to work on the Omu uh, from Nasuka the Valley of the Wind sculpture. We're building the armature for it today. Um, but we've been mostly not able to get there today. <laughs> because I've had sit sprites to make, which are beautiful. We always arrive when least expected. Yes! I love Kim welcoming herself in <laughs> from the raid window. <laughs> we're here again! I don't even know! Nelson, hello! Calm down, I'm trying! <laughs> Tab merchants for Raven! Hello, hello, hello! Oh my gosh! Oh, friends! Hello! <laughs> oh, thank you very much for the hydrate! Thank you so much! Thank you for the shout out! Deb, best, best, best mod Deb taking care of all the things! We are making a blurple ink sploot soot sprite for Raven's resub right now. Because <laughs> it is blurple ink, and I don't know what could be more Raven than a blurple ink sploot besides sheer chaos. Let's. Round this up a little bit better. And I'm gonna put like like an extra little single drop so it really looks like sploot like. Deb is definitely best mod here. <laughs> no question. Well, Kim, did you know that when you say that? You're, uh, totally knocking both you and Locke, which, I don't know, seems kind of fun. <laughs> it seems like he'd appreciate it, too. <laughs> Welcome in, friends! Thank you 
Fuck so off, Locke. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, see, exactly, right? We love Locke. We, we'd show Locke how much we love him by totally roasting him. I mean, I'll double down now that I know that. <laughs> Also Hunter, which I again also approve of, because those are those are my mods. Like, you know, the the partner gets the mandatory I'm sorry you married me, you get a mod mod. <laughs> and then Locke started helping when I did my first camp chaos. And then uh, and then Deb came on board. And then Kim and I decided to have some fun and be each other's mods. <laughs> Got skills. I'm so good at modding, I don't even know who is a mod here. I know, right? <laughs> I admittedly don't know everybody who's a mod in your channel either. <laughs> I'm a mod as a dare. Right? I know, but sometimes it's fun. I bring the wholesomeness to Kim's channel. She brings the snark to mine. It's beautiful. Oh, be nice, you. Be nice to you. <laughs> you do great, Deb. You do great. Alright. What were you guys up to today on stream? Ooh, I was so excited I kind of forgot. <laughs> what did you get up to? Oh. needs to be smaller. A little ink spot. <laughs> I'm allowing for the greatness of all the others. There we go. We are sharing the love of great mods. I has feet. I has feet. Extra ink splutes. <laughs> Just little blips, blops. Kim is mod. Yes, Kim is mod. Hello, turnip. Hello, friend. Welcome in. <laughs> Shush, nobody believes that PS when I say it, you can be great alongside others. Embrace your greatness. Everyone, please, everyone, embrace your greatness. Everybody, embrace your greatness. All right, we have an ink splute for the amazing Raven, and that is the right thing, I believe. All right. Oh, my clays are all getting out of order again. Oh, well. I used to have them rainbow organized, but they've gotten out of order. <laughs> Oh, that's excellent. Okay. All right. Greatness is not a pie. You have, you having more does not take from others. Ah, beautiful. That is. However, pie is greatness. Pie is greatness. Kim has lots of power. Kim has power because Kim is a powerful person, but also because mod and shenanigans. I love the mods that don't do anything with their mod chip except just cause chaos because that is beautiful. Pies do be amazing. Yep, I did not support, uh, celebrate Pie Day this year, or at least not with pie. Or did we? Did we have pie? I don't think we did. All right, I I also like pie. Raven, <laughs> you're doing it on purpose now. <laughs> You're doing it on purpose now. All right, Struble. What? <laughs> yeah, totally, right? You come back from a break and all you get to do is make city. <laughs> I can't even prime anymore. Oh, no. Um, as I said, this is where the troublemakers are today, apparently. <laughs> Wow, 
Like, you literally waited until I put all the clay away. <laughs> oh, Razor, hello. Okay. All right. Woo. Woo. All right. Stroops, yes. You get a sooty. Of course you get a sooty. What would you like your sooty to be, my beautiful friend? I have a sooty with headphones if we have not done that before. We do have a sooty with headphones. I would be happy to do them if we have like a twist on headphones that we could do. Um, Cause we do have a pair and they're actually, they were green even before we had picked green as our theme. But I mean, like, if you've got a twist on it, I'm happy to do it. All right, uh, let's get some white up for eyes. Uh, Kiki, this pi is the picture is kicking my butt. What was I thinking? You were thinking that you love your friend. An orchid, okay, sure, let's try that. Okay. All right. Pretty delicate flowers. I can do that. I can I can do that. I think I can do that. <coughs> so I feel like if this sooty has an orchid, it would be like in a little pot, right? So the sooty's holding like a whole little potted orchid. And like a little terracotta pot. Um, cause that feels like right to me. this terracotta a little bit and this brown an orchid but what about an angid <laughs> zorchid norchid <laughs> took me a second to be like okay i think i know where they're going with this but i gotta get my wrap my brain around saying this out loud i mean i guess kind of maybe <laughs> okay all right Whew. logic jokes no Totally correct. Also, wordplay jokes. Also fun. <laughs> we do enjoy the weird wordplay here. It's not like we tell, like, dad jokes or anything, because we like bad wordplay jokes here. <laughs> no, that's not a thing. Mansion. Yay! Yay! There we go, see? Empress is on the ball. <laughs> Alright, nope, that's the wrong button. There we go. Alright. So, we're going to tell some dad jokes. All of our dad jokes are courtesy of the game uh, Dad Joke Face Off. <laughs> which, of course, as we all know, um, I got courtesy of Phoenix Rising, Phoenix Rising Games in St. Catharines, which is the store my husband owns. Um, and for those of you who are new here, our VIPs and mods, of course, have access to... Uh, Reaction commands, groans, laughs, and but umptis. So don't be surprised if you hear them. All right. Now, so the first, how do you refer to a hippie's wife? Mississippi. <laughs> no, 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 not great. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I like it, I like it. So why was the shovel inventor so proud? 
He made a groundbreaking invention. I like that one. That one's good. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and if you need to build an ark, I know a guy! <laughs> I don't think I get the first one. Um, so like hippie? Mississippi? Hippie? I think they're just kind of like <laughs> smooshing Miss and Hippie, and it sounds like Mississippi. I don't know what it has to do with the state of Mississippi, but I think that that's what they're doing. Yeah, like Mississippi. But it's spelled Mississippi. Oh, is that gonna... That's not gonna... Yeah. Come on, focus! You're not gonna focus, are you? No. You know that says Mississippi, right? <laughs> Nothing Mississippi sounds like Mississippi, right? <laughs> like, yeah, so that one was just... That's why I groaned at that one. It was not the greatest. I am innocent, innocent, I say. <laughs> Alright, thank you, friends, for enjoying some bad jokes with me. Also groan, right? Yep. I know a guy is bad. I I kind of I kind of like that one, but definitely my favorite was um was you made a groundbreaking invention. I like that one. All right, let's let's finish making our little um an orchid here. It's our little terracotta pot. Um, where did my blade go? Why am I always losing my blade? I'm gonna hope I put it away. <laughs> Why am I laughing with that kind of weirdness today? Like, it just, I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was something to do with people digging the invention of the shovel. Digging the invention of the shovel. Yeah! Yeah, you did. I love it. Alright, so here's our little terracotta pot. tiny little pot. Ah, uh, digging it! I'm full of power. You are, Kim. You know what makes me think of Johnny Be Good? He had a famous brother named Noah. Noah Be Good? Yeah. Uh, Alright. Um, I'm making an orchid. Okay, great. So, I think... Hmm. We almost went old school with those dad jokes, like old school. Bodumptis. There's only nine nuggies we can still share, but you have to supplement with something else. <laughs> you guys are funny. Okay. All right. Let's let's make a tiny orchid. Okay. So, mm. so this tiny orchid, where's the gold? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to make it stem out of wire because orchid stems are really, really thin and tall. Um, and I'm going to end up painting this green, is what I'm going to do. And I think that that is going to be the best way to make this orchid look semi-realistic and still functional. <clears throat> Which just makes Pun Dad think of all the stupid old jokes he knows. 
Well, you got any work safe ones, feel free to lay one on us, Luck. Guess I will have to do a double order of fries or tater tots. It still works. Nice. Okay. This is gonna be shorter. Still, whoops. You're talking about tater tots. I think I'm gonna now have a hash brown for lunch uh, with my lunch because now that's all I can think about is potato based product. <clears throat> Potatoes. What has five toes and is not your food and is not your foot? Potatoes? My foot. <laughs> oh, that one's. That's bad. But that is so appropriate around here, so. <laughs> All right, so there's the stem of our little orchid. Uh, green paint, green paint. That's not green paint, that's green stuff. Green paint. Agreed, Agent Badumtis indeed. There we go. I thought that was totally hilarious. I love you. I love you all. <laughs> you all are the reason why my stream is great, is because you're all here, right? I mean, I am great, and that is part of the stream, but it's really great because you're all here. <laughs> okay, so Locke, I'm assuming that this is a joke, because Locke generally only does large blocks of text for jokes. Alright, like... What do you call a guy with no arms or legs floating in the ocean? Bob. What do you call a guy under a pile of leaves? Russell. What do you call a guy down by the rabbit hole? Warren. What do you call a lady with one leg? Eileen. Ooh, boo dum boom. Um, what do you call a deer without eyes? No eye deer. <laughs> what do you call a deer with no eyes and no legs? Still no eye deer. That's so bad. What do you call a bog without legs? Doesn't matter. It's not going to heal. Oh, a dog with no legs? All right. I'm like, what's a bog with no legs? <laughs> what do you call a guy with a shovel over his shoulder? Doug. What do you call a guy without a shovel over his shoulder? Douglas. Oh, my God. Oh, those are very innocent. Okay. All right. Orchid. Orchid, orchid, orchid. Okay. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. Appropriate response, Deb. Appropriate.
like a darker color on the other ones, and I think I'm going to. No, well, thank you for the work, Melly. Welcome in. Wait, I mean, Dad, excellent jokes. I love you and eating all of my vegetables. You guys are funny. Not looking right. Okay, hold up. Looks a little bit more orchid like. I'm gonna put like some pink splotchies on it so it looks a little bit like it's got that speckled look to it. Asparagus. Asparagus is one of those vegetables that I like totally love. Little Hunter, however, really does not like asparagus, so it's not something we eat often around here because both Hunter and I like it. But you can't get the kid to eat it, there's not a whole lot of point of having it around. horrible it is it is what it is but I'm not sure what chicory is only the a oh, white asparagus oh you only like white asparagus I love his hair as mommy sloth just bought me some yesterday Ooh, it's called in here in Belgium it's called Witloof and it's foul Witloof huh that's interesting all right so here is our teeny tiny orchid I don't know, I think for the scale that it's at, that is pretty good. Get your camera, behave. Still no idea. You know what's so dumb when devices only work in specific inputs on the PC? Whose idea was that? Ah, you know what? Why are there so many different inputs for, like, the same things? I can plug in a USB camera. I can plug one through, like various means like there are like four different audio input or not audio video input methods and like maybe more than that and it's just like what why that orc is it is adorable oh god thank you i've tried chicory coffee not a big fan yeah i don't know what chicory is either it sounds like wood to me 
Like, that's what I think of when I think of chicory. I think, like, some sort of cross between, like, wood and, like, a smoked flavor. It used to be so much worse for moving to a USB world, but even now there's like, I can use an HDMI, the back of my computer has USB, HDMI, and, um, what's the, uh, what's the other weird video one called? And I ha don't have enough, like, HDMI ports, so I've had to, but I've got a bunch of these, like, digital video ports, so I have to get all these digital video to HDMI converters just to plug my cameras in, <laughs> like, it's annoying. No, it's not TVI, it's, um, I mean, those inputs I'm, still exist, but it's, um, yeah, display ports, right? Like, who, like, why are there so many different things? I, indeed, I have a fuzzy memories of a time when I adding new hardware involved messing around with jumpers and dip switches on the motherboard. Yeah, I remember it. I vaguely had knowledge of how to, like, do the internal stuff of a computer. I wouldn't say I have anything resembling knowledge anymore, but... Alright, let's connect up our soot sprite, and then try to build? Uh, it's because HDMI is licensed. Oh, fair enough. Gotta love capitalism, where people need to make a bajillion -y things just so people can, you know. <laughs> All right. Oh no! Oh no! That held up better than I thought it was going to. Thank goodness. Okay. There we go. With our little orchid. Okay, all right. I'm putting the clay away. Please, let it stay away. <laughs> you sweet beans, I want to get work done. Now, back to my project. <laughs> Please let me work on my project. All right. <laughs> so I don't, do not ask what that button does. Um, indeed, using standard ports would mean people wouldn't be locking into specific hardware or brands, right? Deb, I streamed replacing a motherboard in a PC because I thought it might be kind of interesting. At the end, it was like, and this is how you fix a computer like a pro, but then when I turned it on to test, I didn't even notice the power bar it was connected to wasn't plugged in. Later, after streaming, it worked. <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. So <laughs> they still seem to be behaving to me. I am still... probably. Oh, heavens. Okay. Um, I'm gonna work fast as long as I can. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Agent. Agent. <laughs> Razor. <laughs> this is all I have to show for today. A little bit of a triangle. in there, though. I love it. Oh. Well, that's all that triangle.
triangle is getting done today. <laughs> we need to do six more. There's no way I'm getting them all done. This is your life now. Okay, I need to breathe. Eight, thank you for counting because I am not there. I'd have to wait till the end. <laughs> I'll get there at the end. So maybe the next stream at this rate is going to be just remaking new soot sprites in in, <laughs> in the in the bucket. I am almost out of pre-made soot sprites in my bucket. The good news is, is we have lots of eyes to make more. All the sooties all the time. Yep. More sooties on the hype hat. Okay, so here's a blue one. And we are, we did the other green today. Let's do this green, because we did the light green with green eyes. So we'll do the dark green with green eyes. And, and is, do we have black ones? I don't even think I have any black ones. Here we go. We've got a purple one. So now that's for the level, so far for the, the level three hype train. What are you doing to me? All right, we're gonna try. We're gonna try to work on these soot sprites a little bit while this, uh, while this hype train <laughs> runs its course. Bye, bye, train. <laughs> oh yeah, I think they can tell it's appreciated. I'm practically dying over here. Sooty and the Bluefish sounds like a knockoff tribute band. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. This is Sooty and the Bluefish. Yep. Because we did determine our band name is Sooty and the Blowfish. So Sooty and the Bluefish <laughs> is, is knockoffs of knockoffs and it riffs on riffs and it works. <laughs> okay, all right, brain, I'm, I'm getting the clay back out. I am getting the clay back out, and how kind of makes me think of Guns and Roses tribute man, nuns and mosses, or nuns and Moses. That would be a very interesting tribute band, to be sure. To be sure. Okay, so we're at eight set so sprites. Is that really what we're at?
You can look up nuns and... Oh, I believe it. I believe it. Oh, okay. I saw it coming from a mile away. I mean, you brought this on yourself. Josh, no, I didn't. How did I bring this on myself? <laughs> All I did was put the clay away. <laughs> oh, spy guy, agent, I... I don't know what I will. All of you, I don't know what I would do without you. But, uh, agent, my sweet agent, you are, you are my pillar and my rock. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know what to say. And I'm trying to just breathe right now because this is a totally unexpected Okay, good. All right, we can breathe. We can breathe. The hype train has left the building, but that was beautiful. Friends, level three, 52%, eight subs, and 500 bits. You goblins. You crazy little... What's what's a hor What's a, like a pack of soot sprites called? We, we need to, like... My collective noun for you is the soot sprite, but what is the collective noun for soot sprites? <laughs> But you made a point to say you're putting it away and so, yeah, okay, all right, fine. I'll be quiet next time. Crazy little things of love. Yeah, right? A dusting, a cloud, ooh, a cloud. I do kind of like a cloud. A dusting is good too. A dust cloud of soot sprites, perhaps? <laughs> a flock? I don't know, a flock doesn't seem quite right. Um, like, in my brain, I'm thinking something along the lines like a, a, like a mess, like a whirlwind, um, a frenzy, a frenzy of soot sprites. That sounds right. I like frenzy. What do we think? A swarm sounds like it could work, but it sounds very predictable. <laughs> oh, I missed something. What did I miss? Did I? What's going on? I see people replying to things that I didn't read before, so I feel like I must have missed something. <laughs> If I miss something, I don't know what I missed, and I'm sorry. Uh, a, a panic would work. A panic does sound good. A murder of soot sprites? I don't know. I think soot sprites are a little too innocent to be called a murder, which I know has kind of got the whole ironic thing, but it just doesn't feel quite right to me. I, a panic sounds good. I think I like a frenzy. I'm kind of torn between a panic and a frenzy. Or a dust cloud. A dust cloud is is I don't know. I'm not sure any as much anymore after I came up after we came up with frenzy and panic. A panic of soot sprites or a frenzy of soot sprites. I think both are good. Perhaps a flurry. A flurry of soot sprites. I think that is probably the word I was trying to come up with before. <laughs> Oh. Um, I think flurry is a great descriptor, but I think the official collective noun for soot sprites should be um, a frenzy. Oh, no, I'm so undecided now. A pan, a tide of soot sprites on account of tide being a detergent. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps. Mm. Oh. I think I'm gonna forget panic. I like a panic of soot sprites as I think panic is a fun collective noun in general, and I kind of like using it. 
but I'm going to forget it. I'm going to try to remember a frenzy of, so I think frenzy should be our word. My community will know their name as soon as I rebrand this account. <laughs> Are you close? You've been saying for a while that we'll all know when you're ready to stream, when you change your name. <laughs> so, all right, so we, the collective noun for soot sprites. Ooh, panic or frenzy? I still can't decide. I can't, I can't. Okay, here we go. Deb, do you know how to do polls? I think I can figure out a poll. Okay, hold up, hold up. Create a new poll. A frenzy, a panic, um, a frenic, <laughs> a flurry, or a dust cloud. All right. There is an L in cloud. Okay. All right. We're not we're sure. All right. Oh, that should have been much further. okay i meant to do this a ghibli wiki does not have an answer <laughs> a frazzle Ooh, a frazzle hold on hold on hold on we're gonna have, have people started voting yet because i could i could cancel this and start again <laughs> like a frazzle okay we're voting all right <laughs> we're going we're going ah uh, frazzle should definitely be held as like a collection of redheads or a frizz no, a frizzle is a collection of redheads. <laughs> and I say that lovingly, because I wish I was a redhead. <laughs> my mother was a redhead, my nibbling is a redhead. I I was quietly very sad that little Hunter was not a redhead. <laughs> All right, well, the extra votes are very excited about the flurry. <laughs> All right, so it is a flurry of sut sprites. Friends, that is officially the collective noun. <laughs> Empress really wanted it as flurry. I love it. Okay. All right, so it is officially a flurry of sut sprites. I'm going to write this down because I am going to forget. Because that, that be how my brain works. Thank you, friends, for helping me figure out how you have declared. You sure did. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me how to use polls today. A flurry of soot sprites. Okay, I will put that somewhere more important later, but for right now. Okay, all right. So at this rate, we're... We're not getting anything else done this stream. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't actually touch the pants. I, like, barely touched the pants of the stream. How dare you art ingest me? <laughs> How very dare you? Okay, unfortunately, we do have our last ad of the day is about to run. So please be aware of that. Kiki has released her flurry. Yes, right? I only learned the other year that I have a redhead jeans in my family and I'm sad I did not get them, right? Like, I'm sad I didn't get them. No pants. No pants, turn up. You have learned so much from your master, Brenda, and your Padawan. Young Padawan, yes, I have. <laughs> God to admit, Brenda is one of the streamers that I look up to as a streaming role model. Brenda, Kim, Struble, there's a bunch of them, but those are definitely some of them greys. <laughs> Um, we'll, uh, we'll be back.
back shortly. And uh, for those of you who aren't subbed <laughs> or nitroed or whatever, and <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay. So I've got to make eight. I need to, oh, do I have a duck sooty either as a duck or holding one? I do have one holding a rubber duck, but not a real duck. I'm not totally sure how I would do one as a duck, but we can always give that a try. I'm going to add Whee! that to the list. Whee! What sticker are we adding? I'm going to add as a duck. Uh, yeah. A duck. Okay. I'm adding them for now because I don't think we're going to get very far through a lot of these. Um, a rubber duck for Kim. I love it, Spy Guy. Perfect. We will add Kim's rubber ducky. You're the one. Bottom, bottom. Where is my list? There they are. Okay. Come on. I know there's a lot of you, but you got to open. There you are. Okay. Uh, and we'll put our rubber ducky down here. There we go. There's our rubber ducky. Thank you very much for putting stickers up on my display. Someday I will get around. To taking photos and editing, I've got like 30 back there to do, and I am very distraught at how long that's going to take me to edit them. <laughs> I think that's kind of why I haven't gotten to doing it. I'm like, oh my god, it's so much work, and I can't just break it down. Oh, I forgot to, I'm still wearing the hype hat and forgot to put the sooties on. Okay, all right, so I'm going to write down that we have eight sooties to do. Where's that? I need a post-it note. Okay. Alright, so we have eight cities. Because I am... Don't think I'm getting anything else done today. Okay. And we're going to put the soot sprites on the hype hat, because I forgot to do that earlier, after the hype train. Because when Kiki puts a hat on her head, she forgets to say, wow, that flattened my hair real good, didn't it? <laughs> Not that I'm really worried. I'm going out and putting on a hat after this, so... Because I have to wear a, um... A baseball cap for my day of job. Because I'm a crossing guard, so... Part of the uniform! <laughs> Wait, what are you waiting for, Deb? What did I miss? Did I miss something? How did I miss something? What did I, what did I miss? I'm always missing things and it drives me crazy. Was there a sticker that I missed? My picture and ability to make it a stick -em. Oh, okay. Like, I miss most things. Yeah, due to work. Yeah, no, no problem. Um, yes, but when you're streaming, do you miss everything in chat, which I seem to do? <clears throat> yeah, I... I... Apparently, I have lost a soot sprite. I have just a single thread here. And I don't... Maybe that's where that red one came from? Because it fell off? Okay, I'm going to reattach this red one because I think that this must have been this guy falling off. Alright, good to know. I can do that. I can fix that. Ask Dev how often she has to repeat things to me. I miss a lot. I miss so much and I feel so bad. We just repeated if we really want to say... You know what? Do the same for me. I, uh, yeah. Because I feel awful that I miss things. 
Um, I don't understand how some streamers actually keep track of chat. I have to personal theory that some people are just better at not minding that they don't. It's probably true. It's true. Like, I, I feel awful if I miss things. And I mean, sometimes you guys are talking amongst yourselves in chat, and it's fine if I miss that, because that isn't something specifically for me. But, I mean, when you miss things that are specifically for me, I feel awful about that. Okay, so now we'll try to fix this. So we'll need to get some more of the wire out. And where's that one that was empty? Okay, you're right here. Let's cut that off. you I think it depends on the stream as well I've seen a stream where a hundred people are typing at once and chat is zooming by oh yeah absolutely and like there are some streamers that somehow still keep up with that. Like, I am in awe of, like, Little Simsy and similar, who, like, have, like, you know, thousands of people watching them and chat just streaming by, and somehow she still catches most of it. Like, not all of it. Surely she misses some, but, like, what? It's happening soon. That is amazing, Deb. I think... Little Simsy is insane. Yeah, I know. She's she's amazing. Okay. All right. So we fixed this particular soot sprite. Oh, I feel bad that it's so high. Should I lower the cost of it? And then I feel bad for having made you wait so long if I lower the cost. But I feel like I need to decide before you get there so you're not redeeming it and then I change the cost because that would be even worse. I know we ask this all the time, but I feel like I set it too high and I should lower it. The larger the crowd, the more you have to rely on mods to funnel communication, right? Yeah. I do appreciate the, the smaller crowd for that. Like, I like being able to be in touch with everybody. Not that I ever think I would get big, but I think that I am happier with it mostly small. Don't you freaking dare, right? <laughs> okay, alright. <laughs> okay. I will leave it as is, but I want you to realize that once you choose it, that is like, it makes it official that that is the actual cost, because I'm not going to change it once somebody actually redeems it. <laughs> because that would be, I've explained, it's okay, it's fair, alright. I still feel bad. <laughs> it is surprising the skills you pick up as the son of a minister. Oh, interesting. I've uh, never really intentionally or unintentionally am, right? I have known a couple people in my years who were the children of like creatures and stuff like that. Um, oh, that, that. I knew one in high school. Can't say I've known anybody in recent history. Okay. All right. It is one o'clock. It is officially time to go. We officially got no real work done today. Congratulations, you flurry of soot sprites. Look, I remembered it. <laughs> I had to stop and think for a second, but I remembered it. Okay, all right. Let's 
let's just get a few things out of my way so I can think. Because I can't think when there's clutter. Did you know that I can't think straight when there's clutter? And that is the real reason I tidy up after stream. It's because like I feel like I can't think enough to raid out <laughs> without tidying up. Okay. All right. <sighs> Eight sooties on Wednesday. Yeah, that's where we're starting. <laughs> I guess you for. Uh, okay. All right. Okay, friends. I need to focus which is really hard for me right now. Okay, all right, where are we going? Mm. Okay, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? Let's take a quick look and see if there's anybody new around to go visit before we pick from one of our old faithfuls. Mortal Kombat. Oh, missionary not minister today. I learned. Okay, fair enough. I went to a religious boarding school, and that counts as Mortal Kombat, right? Just about. I went to Catholic grade school, and it's not an entirely surprise that I'm an atheist now. Um, for those of you who have been to Catholic school. <laughs> I went to Catholic school where most of the most of the kids in my class were all rich mafia prodigy and it really makes it difficult for you to really believe in the word of God when that's what's around you. Okay. <laughs> Mortal Wombat. How's that? We just had our good friend 9.5 go live. She's already got a hype train started. Let's go add to it. How's that sound, friends? I'm gonna go see 9.5. We love 9.5, right? All right, so thank you for, yes, excellent. We've got our raid calls. Please grab a raid call. We're gonna go and raid 9.5. We love 9.5. 9.5, I feel a bond with because 9.5 also owns a nerd store, like, just like we do. <laughs> so, I feel, I feel, I feel. All right, we're going to go see 9.5. We're going to be back on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern making some such sprites. And if we're lucky, maybe getting some of this armature actually built. Please don't make me have to do it all off online. I got enough to do online. <laughs> offline. <laughs> All right, friends, I will see you guys very soon. Let's go show our friend 9.5 some love. Have a great day, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making my return from my very brief stream break so bloody memorable. Like, you guys are just fantastic and made me feel super loved. Thank you so much, friends. We'll see you guys Wednesday. Take care.